Hey everybody, uh, this is Ivan Casanova and welcome to another edition of Recruit Forward. For all of our loyal listeners, you guys all know, this is our video podcast series from the folks here at Jive, where we try to teach you some tricks and tips about how to make your recruiting efforts better. Uh, we're all about giving you some really, really practical advice about how you can improve your talent acquisition and recruiting function in your organization. So today is really one of my favorite topics. I'm really, really excited about this episode. It's one proven way to boost your career site engagement. So we are all, you know, creatures of the internet, right? We all live on the web. We love the apps on our phones. And I think it's interesting that the consumer apps that I really, really love share a really common characteristic or trait, right? And that's that they, they actually understand what it is that I wanna get done when I open those apps, right? They understand me and what I'm trying to accomplish, right? And for apps like Amazon, when I wanna go buy something, or Google when I just wanna find a piece of information, or Yelp when I need to find a restaurant, for me and my kids because they're very picky, or we're going on vacation and we need to find a place to stay, no matter what, when I open those apps, the very first thing that I want to do is I want to search, right? I want to find the particular item or particular Airbnb place or the particular restaurant that I need to satisfy my user intent, right? It's trying to make me feel better about myself by giving me what I need. Now, as you know, <clears throat> we've hosted over a quarter of a billion job seekers across all of the career sites that Jive has built for our clients. And we track data, you know, pretty, pretty closely on what the behavior of job seekers is when they come to our clients' sites. And overwhelmingly, the user intent what job seekers are trying to accomplish when they come to your website is they want to search for a job, right? That's what they're trying to do. That's what's going to give them their satisfaction. That's going to make them want to engage with you, right? And actually fulfill what you need them to do from a transaction perspective, right? Which is to apply for the job, right? All of these sites, right? And the sites that we're building here at Jive for our clients, right? They come to these sites to find information. These brands have invested heavily in search technology. It's really interesting. You know, we only think of Google as the only search company that's out there. And from a consumer information perspective, that's right. But the search on Airbnb, the search on Yelp, the search on other consumer facing sites has been finely tuned to the particular kind of search that the user of that site has, right? The search on Yelp is optimized to help find restaurants and display that information in a way that makes it easy for the user to find a restaurant. And now what we're seeing is even more that satisfying this user intent model for the people who come to your site or use your app has a major, major impact on SEO. And really this kind of major impact on SEO is, is kind of what we're going to talk about and really, really drill into you know, over the next few minutes. Okay? Now, career sites, ladies and gentlemen, have a significant, significant bounce problem. Now, if you work in digital marketing or you've listened to the folks here at Recruit Forward talk about how recruiting is a very specialized form of digital marketing, then you understand that bounce rate is really something that's emerging as a critical component of how we measure engagement from job seekers on your career site. Now technically, right, bounce rate is somebody comes to your site through whatever channel that they get there, through Google search or through social media, or by actually just typing in your URL and clicking on the careers link, they land on your career site, they look around one page and they're gone, right? They close their browser, they go off to some other company to look for a job opportunity. That's bounce rate. That's bad engagement. And that is a systemic problem amongst career sites, which if you address, 
can have a huge, huge impact on how many people are presented with the right kinds of jobs, the user experience that they have, how they feel about your employer brand, and most importantly, right, how many people actually complete the process that you desperately want them to complete, right, which is to apply for the job. Now, they come to your site, right, to search and to learn. And in reality, in the digital marketing parlance, if you think about it in the terms of these consumer internet sites, you are not satisfying the user intent. You are not making it easy for job seekers to do the one thing that they really, really want to do, right? And that is counterproductive. And that lack of understanding what it is that job seekers are trying to do shows up in bounce rate. Now, I think here's the problem. Now, as you can probably imagine, the folks at Job spend an inordinate amount of time looking at career sites, thinking about career sites, and optimizing the career sites of our clients. And you know, one of the things that really, really drives us crazy right, is this model here, which we see over and over again. So many companies do this, and it's so simple to fix. Right? So for one, I come to the career site, doesn't really matter how I got there, right? We've talked a lot about sourcing and, and, and how to get people to your site, but I finally landed on your careers homepage as a job seeker. And buried over in the corner, right, is this little link that says search for jobs, right? And then there's a whole bunch of stuff up here about your company, and there's the, um, there's the appropriate picture at the top of the, of the frame on the web page that shows people who work at your company, and there's a bunch of other pieces there that maybe even are really illustrating your employer brand really well. But down here, in the corner, right, is a search for jobs button. Now, you all know who you are because you've been on your own career sites and you've probably seen this. And, and by the way, typically that search for jobs, search for openings link, takes you over to your applicant tracking system where, quite honestly, the search functionality is pretty bad amongst most of the ATS systems out there, right? Again, we've talked a lot about this on Recruit Forward in the past. Your ATS is a workflow system. It's not really designed as a system of engagement. These consumer internet sites that we talked about earlier not only provide search as a primary first step for job seekers when they come to your site, but also they've optimized the search for the user intent, right? It's serving up job, it's serving up restaurants, it's serving up e-commerce products, it's serving up hotel rooms. Whatever it might be, it's been optimized. This is just a keyword search which gives me a list of jobs and it really doesn't understand what it is I'm trying to accomplish, right? This is not the way to satisfy user intent, all right? So even if they do get into the second page, right? Even though they're not even gonna find the link on the first page, you're not satisfying what it is that job seekers are trying to do. And that is driving them away from your career site in droves. Right? You guys pay a lot of money. Right? You pay a lot of money to get people to your site. You get people to your site through job board advertising or through just pushing jobs on social media. So, right? you know, we, we, we spent the first few minutes here on this episode of Recruit Forward talking about uh, you know, kind of what we see on consumer sites and how these folks who are really, really good at optimizing the user experience, and most importantly, understanding what that user intent model looks like for visitors to their site or users of their app. And then we talked a little bit about how in the career sites that we look at all day long, we see the opposite behavior, right? You're not really catering to the user intent model that job seekers have when they come to your site. So again, this video podcast series has always been about giving you practical advice about how you can improve the recruiting function in your business. If we care about the job seekers who are coming to career site, and we've talked over and over again about how career sites are the largest source of hires and the only real source of hires that is improving and increasing as a percentage of the total hires that most organizations make. Your career site is by far the most important recruiting property that you own, all right? Therefore, if you even want to make a single tweak, one proven way to increase your recruiting function, we always will tell you to do is move search 
to a primary location on your site, front and center. Right? The very first thing that users should be presented with when they come to your site is a search function. Now, I will also say that the kind of the flip side of that pillow has to be that the search has to be really, really good in the sense of presenting jobs to job seekers. This is a passion for the folks here at Jive. We have spent copious amounts of research and development efforts to make sure that not only can we extract jobs from these old, legacy, workflow-based applicant tracking systems, right? but also that the search functionality that we build is optimized for job seekers. Right? So that when somebody goes to search for a job, they are presented with those jobs that they think are relevant, and most importantly, that they're going to continue on, and they're going to go into the job description and into the apply flow. All right? Again, it's all about thinking like a digital marketer and really, really catering to the notion of engagement. All right? Now, I'm not telling you in any way, shape, or form that your career site needs to look like a Google search page. Right, just a search bar and that's it. Right? But if you look at the client sites that Jive has actually built, we've figured out a way to make the search integrated into your employer brand. Right? It's in context, it makes sense. When a job seeker comes, they wanna understand who you are, what your business does, how it's gonna satisfy their intent to go find a job opportunity that they wanna to apply to and they think is gonna be right for them. Right? And that's all about building that site with great search and your employer branding content integrated in a way that makes the user want to go forward. Right? They want to complete that transaction. The very same way right, that Airbnb wants me to rent that room and make that reservation. Or Yelp wants me to make that reservation. Or Amazon wants me to buy that pair of sneakers. All right? It's all about satisfying that user intent. I often tell the clients that we work with a very simple idea. All right? Our jobs together, as the people who provide the technology that can power your career site, and the company who's trying to build the greatest career site they possibly can for job seekers, let's get all the friction out of the way. All right? Let's make it simple for people to do the one thing that the data shows that they really want to do which is go find that job that they want to apply to. Right? And making that simple and making that frictionless is really the passion of the work that we're trying to do here at Jive. So, increased engagement. People will come to your site, you'll see your stats go up. Your bounce rate will go down. Time on site will go up. Number of job applications will go up. Right? You'll see the relevant statistics go up. Right? And you can measure these things and watch them on a daily basis to make sure that you're driving the behavior in the right directions. You're going to have a better candidate experience. Right? We've all talked about and we all understand that if customers, in this case job seekers, come to your site, they have a good experience, they're going to think better about your brand, they're more likely to apply for jobs, all of the really great benefits associated with that. And at the end of the day, isn't that really kind of what we're all supposed to be doing here? Right? We want to get you more applicants. Right? More applicants mean more choices, means jobs that get filled faster at a lower cost with better quality and all the kinds of things that are pie in the sky, end of the game kind of mission for every recruiting organization. What we're saying here on this today is really important is think about the little things, right? That one thing that can make people improve their engagement, satisfy that user intent, can go a long way to those big goals that you talk about and you're not really sure how to get there to. All right, guys, thanks. We'll see you next time on Recruit Forward.